Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to my next video on Apache Hive. In this video, I'll be talking about bucketing. So bucketing is a data organizing technique, right? So it is quite important uh, uh, topic as far as Hive is concerned. First of all, I'll be discussing about it in a little introduction and then I'll be implementing the same using Hive Shell. Let's begin. So guys, we can compare this bucketing with the partitioning. I've already have posted one video on partitioning. In case if you have missed it, guys, please check it out. So it's similar to the partitioning in Hive uh, with an added functionality that it divides large data sets into small parts, more manageable parts known as buckets. So in this, in the, the term bucketing, the buckets meaning is small parts. We have a small buckets out of the bigger data. Like in networking terms, we always use the word chunks like dividing bigger data into smaller chunks this time around we'll be using the word buckets okay so what's the feature of the bucketing the concept of bucketing is based upon the hashing technique guys i hope that uh, in your dbms class you must have heard or must have studied about the uh, hashing technique it means that it's a way to organize your data in this case guys i've already have listed one example here the modules of current column value and the number of required buckets is calculated by this formula the simple modulus so we'll be using simple modulus for this particular scenario right guys this is what i'm talking about let's suppose i'm having data one two three and i'm using this hash function right fx modulus three and one modulus three right in this way we have to compute the data and accordingly we have to put the data in a specified bucket right so you can see here actually we are completely we are dividing my data into three buckets which is having index starting from zero so this is the just an overview that uh, how it's work let let's now let's begin with the implementation part uh, so that we can see that uh, like how we can implement the same on hive shell so i'm going to the hive shell here okay so i've already i have opened up the hive shell guys what i'll be doing now i'll be creating one table first of all this table will be having some regular columns like name or some other uh, uh, simple columns what i'll be doing this data i'll be dividing using bucketing concept so it will be more organized right using some like specified formula like i've already have specified in the like introduction that we'll be using modulus for the same guys this is the file which i'm gonna load now uh, a simple uh, file which is having now three columns you can see separated by comma uh, in this case the first column is numeric second one is uh, having string the third one is uh, just a like a float we can say right so this is what we'll be doing now let's start first of all we have to create a table which will be having three columns separated by comma okay let's begin create table My table name let's suppose is maybe tab one two i'm working under the default database i'm having three columns you can see i'm keeping it as uh, id uh, some kind of name some kind of salary maybe okay so id integer name string and uh, i'm keeping my third one salary float okay done row format delimited and fields terminated by comma so i'm done guys i'm done with my first column sorry first table now i'll be loading the data into that table with the regular command load data local in path okay and let's give the path it's available on my home location on at my local file system in the file bucket dot txt into table table name is tab 12 okay let's guys let's now check it out whether it is loaded properly or not with the select star from tab 12 okay we can see now it is properly loaded because i can see all my six rows which was originally uh, the part of this file okay now what i'll be doing 
in this after after we have done with this my table is created now what i'll be doing i'll be now enabling the bucketing like in the previous uh, video also in the case of partitioning i have enabled the partitioning similarly i have to enable the bucketing with the command set hive dot enforce dot bucketing equal to true done so guys now next point is like i have to create a bucketing table which will be storing my results right although this table i'm already having tab 12 it is like a kind of a my parent table this um, the same terminology i have used in partitioning as well like uh, over there also we created two tables one was partition the table one was like your regular table or kind of a parent table in this case tab 12 is my parent table so i'll be now creating my bucketing table let's do it create table let's suppose is uh, i'm keeping it as tab 12 bucket okay and then i'm having my same columns name string and then salary float okay guys uh, over there we have used the word partitioned by but in this time around for bucketing we have to use the word clustered by clustered by we have to specify with respect to which column we have to create a bucket I get, uh, guys in this case like uh, the first column i'll be selecting because it's a numeric column and we can easily apply the hash over there so i'm keeping it as id into we have to specify how many buckets uh, we want i want three buckets into three buckets then row format delimited fields terminated by comma so guys uh, i'm done with now because uh, like I've specified everything you can see again create table table name the column names the main thing is clustered by over there we have used partitioned by we have to specify the column it is ID into three buckets row uh, format delimited field submitted by comma so my schema is ready now let's press enter it's got created so last step is pending now we have to insert the data of the tab 12 into this bucketing table the guys in the, in the case of partitioning we have did the same let's do the same again insert overwrite table so we have to specify my table name which is tab 12 bucket select star from tab 12 meaning is i'm gonna write the data from into the tab 12 bucket which is coming from tab 12 so tab 12 this one is like acting like a parent table and tab 12 underscore bucketing is because it's receiving data so it is kind of a child table for me guys if i press enter guys you'll be seeing the map reduce code gonna running in the background let's do it if everything is fine i'll i'll not be getting any error You can see guys some MapReduce code has been written here okay so i'm done with my bucketing let's see the answer guys in which form I, I'm, I'm getting the answer in the as a result guys so i'm opening up the new window because i want to check my answer we know that the default uh, warehouse directory is available under user hive warehouse i want to see inside emp bucket sorry tab 12 bucket so that's the reason i've already written the answer it's the stfs path let's see what's inside it guys i got three answer why because in total i was having six rows okay and i've already specified three buckets it means that the two rows will be there in a in a single bucket because guys we are using the formula mod 3 you can see guys my id was starting from 1 1 mod 3 2 mod 3 3 mod 3 4 mod 3 5 mod 3 and 6 mod 3 this is the logic like which which has been applied here let's see now in the first case 
bucket zero this one what i'll be doing i'll be opening up this for you and in this case let's see what is the answer i'm getting with the cat command so guys i'm i'm getting 3 and 6 why because it's bucket zero okay bucket zero i'm getting answer 6 and 3 let's first like see everything then i'll be discussing why the answer is like this second one is bucket one okay third one is bucket two very simple logic guys just see bucket zero means which is having zero modulus we know that six is divisible by three the remainder is zero three is again zero bucket one means whose remainder is one four mod three one one mod three one similarly two means whose remainder is two five mod three two two mod three two so guys that's a that's a way to organize data this is how bucketing works i hope guys this little introduction plus implementation i hope that you must have understood and in case if you have any challenge guys you can just simply comment on this video i'll be seeing you in the next video thanks for watching guys